This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Black River. But before that, this video is brought to you by Metallic Fox and Backbone. Thank you for being farm barons. So Black River can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Let's read a little bit of the description. A fictional region located in Europe with a small town, large lake, and a river running through the center of the map. This map includes 90 fields, 125 viable lands, various forest areas, a stone quarry, a large lime deposit, an area of greenhouses for purchase. We also have several selling stations. We have a sawmill, carpentry, a flower factory, two trains, five points of interest to load the trains, two railroad silos, a biogas plant, animal dealer, custom vehicle store, standard production chains, collectibles, and we can get free water from the windmills. Let's go ahead and load on in. We are going to use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at map settings, additional field info, additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. I will say that I loaded this map up in farm manager mode, and if you load up in farm manager mode, you do not own any land at the start, nor do you own any vehicles or machinery at the main farm aside from your starting pickup truck. You also have access to a forklift in all play modes. And here we are, loaded on into the map for the very first time. I'm just gonna wait for this thing to fly over. And now that the now that the jet has flown over, it's a little bit quieter here. We load in here, kind of centered to the map at a fuel station. We do have access to our pickup truck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. So if we take a look at the lands area, you will see that we start out by owning a main farm in fields one, two, and three to the west of our starting area. This is where we start here. This is where the fuel station is located. We do have all the standard crop types available to us here on Farm Sim 22 available on the map. We do have a biogas plant down here. Now this map is not set up to where you buy the biogas land. You will need to have to buy the biogas plant by going to the actual biogas plant. The stone quarry is located just south of the starting farm. It is gonna be $250,000. Just south of that, we have a viable plot of land that has a huge amount of lime piled up. So we can pick that up and sell it for $120,000. We have 10 large greenhouses that we can also buy over here in the northeast corner of the map. Then again, that is going to cost you $132,000, but they are 10 large greenhouses. So you're going to be able to make quite a fortune off of those. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. And the farmland lease screen is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how big those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any fields, which fields they include, and then ultimately how much those farmlands are going to cost us. Let's go ahead and just kind of slowly scroll through this list to make note of the field numbers and farmland numbers. And then when we take a look at our field calculator screen, which we're going to take a look at here in a minute, you will then be able to reference the actual field and how big each specific field is. And then come back here to this screen, find the field number, and then we'll see how much that particular field is going to ultimately end up costing you. So here we have our field calculator screen. So you can see the three fields that we start out with are field one, two, and three. They are 0.98, 1.66, and 0.68 hectares respectively. According to the description, we have fields that range anywhere between 0.21 hectares and 11.38 hectares in size. So quite the varied array of field sizes. We've got a decent number of smaller fields. So we do have fields that should meet players' expectations across all sizes. We do have the standard crop counter available to us here in Farm Sim 22. 
And if we go ahead and take a look at our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability, and quite frankly, we have lots of availability to sell each and every crop that we can grow on Farm Sim 22. We also have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk, addition to silage, hay straw, and grass. Now, when it comes down here to production items, we also have the ability to sell each and every production item that we can possibly manufacture in the base game FS22, which is always always good to see and lots of choices in those sell points here under solid fertilizer you can see the 10 large greenhouses are listed as buying fertilizer then we have three sell points where we can sell fertilizer we do have multiple places to sell lime we can buy lime but you'll notice that we are not buying lime for less than we are selling it then we also have a stone crusher available, which is actually down conveniently at the stone quarry. Take a look at our starting equipment. We start out with a fairly large list of starting equipment. Most of it is new. We do have a Volter 105G that is 16 months old and is sitting at 30 hours and 20% on its maintenance. So it does need a fair bit of maintenance. Also, our 2017 pickup truck is fairly old it does have 251 hours but is fairly well maintained no equipment is leased we do start out with 30 cows 15 holstein and 15 brown swiss they do have mixed rations already we start out with slurry which will be quite handy for those that are going to be playing with pumps and hoses that's going to be releasing next week so we already have some slurry there the map does possibly have contracts i will admit that i have not looked at this screen up until this point the various times that i have been into the map so it's quite possibly that just for whatever reason we don't have any contracts showing right now or the map may not have contracts it would be interesting to hear from you guys if you are seeing this contract screen empty as well we do not own any production chains at the start but i will tell you in a little bit I'm going to talk about the production that's available on the map. There are 21 production facilities available for purchase on the map. So we do have production. We just don't own any at the start. This map does include 20 collectible game cartridges. So we do have the Holt Belarune game cartridges available as collectibles. Now let's go up here and take a look at the precision farming soil map and see how it is getting applied to the map. Now, this map is making use of the Holt by the Rune soil map that is included with the Precision Farming Mod. And as you can see, we have a fair bit of loam, a little bit of sandy loam, and a little bit of silty clay. Not a bit of loamy sand to be found anywhere on the map. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Volter G105 small tractor. We have the New Holland T7 275 HD medium tractor. And then we have the New Holland CH7.70 harvester that is paired up with the Verifi 28 foot harvester header as well as the Nardi N 6030 header trailer. We have the Kloss Tryon 1150, or sorry, 1511 wheel loader, the 2017 pickup truck. We have the Rudolph TDK 301 RP trailer. The Lemkin Semigard 9500 Cultivator. We have the Kuhn DC 401 Subsailor, as well as the Pottinger Terrasim C6F Cedar. We have the Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD Roller. The Mega 1200L Fertilized Sprayer and Herbicide Sprayer. We have the Breedall K105 Fertilizer and Lime Spreader. We have the Kuhn GMD 8730FF Butterfly Mowers. But oddly, we don't have the front companion mower listed to go along with that. That's kind of an odd listing there. We have a Semez Z2840H wind rower, the VB3190 round baler. We have a ProChop 150 straw blower, as well as the MKS8 water trailer. We have the Flegel Noah TTW140 animal transport trailer. We have for our wheel loader, a high dump bucket and a pallet fork. We also then have 1,100 kilogram front weight, and we have a pair of belts to go into our placeable grain auger, our placeable grain silos. 
You know, let, let's go ahead and quickly tab over to the main farm. Let me take a look at the main PDA here. You can see that we are now to the west of our starting point. We started out at the gas station, which is just to the east of field 10. Now we are over here just to the east of field 22 at the main farm. So here at the main farm, I can tell you that we can sell everything that you see here. All of the buildings, we can sell the fence, we can sell this light power, light tower. We can also sell all of these placeable silos. So here we have a seed silo that has 5,000 liters of seed. We have 5,000 liters of solid fertilizer. And then we have 5,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. Within our grain silo, our meridian bin, we do have 33,000 liters of wheat. And our augers are already set up to dump into the bin and pull out of the bin. We have a hayloft set up over here that is currently empty. And now this is rather interesting. We have a whole heaping pile of lime just sitting here waiting for us to make use of it. And we have our lime spreader already positioned there. Inside our large machinery shed, we have the balance of our farm equipment. The shed also has a maintenance trigger. There goes that jet again. Now we have the base game animal pin here. And as I said, we already have 30 cows of the 45 cows that this particular facility will hold. We have our milk trigger. There's our cows. Directly inside of that, we have a silage bunker. Then around the back, we have a manure heap as well as our slurry point. Now, if we make our way up the lane here, this is going to take us to our farmhouse, which is up on the hill behind the equipment shed. We have a nice solar array. We have our farmhouse with our sleep trigger. One of our collectibles right there. Then this is the Holt by the Rune farmhouse. So we do have our wardrobe trigger. Our collectibles are going to pile up there. We've got Fido the dog. And then another vehicle shed up here on the top. And everything that you see here can be sold, including the fencing, including the hedging. All of these buildings, all of the fence, and so forth. Let's go ahead and get set up for the fly around. We're going to fly around a map and kind of do an aerial tour, taking a look at all the highlights. Then we're going to come back to the vehicle shop, get in our Mahindra, and then drive around to all the various points of interest. Now, something else that is rather interesting is when I was doing my kind of look around the map, I noticed that, so here we have the main farm. And as I said already, everything that you see here, including the fencing, can be sold. I follow this lane down and around. All of this fencing can be sold. And I followed it all the way over to here. Okay. This fencing can still be sold. In fact, I was able to sell some of this fencing right here. Now, I could not sell this light pole, but I could sell even fencing all the way around to this point, which I thought was pretty, pretty incredible. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of altitude. And something else that I want to point out while we are kind of looking at the map. You look off way in the distance, you're going to see outside the map play area, we have windmills 
and those windmills are animated. I really can't tell you the last time that I have seen animated objects outside of the actual playable map area. But here we have windmills that are well outside the map play area. At this altitude, it is very, it's very obvious they are outside of the play area, but they are animated. And as a result of being animated, if you're down here at the player level, okay, it gives you a sense that the map is just going on and on and on and on. And I just have to say, I really like that treatment. The way the map author has done that. So the description said we have free water at the windmills. So anytime we see one of these windmills, we can come up here and pick up water for no cost. Now, this is something that I found a little interesting. The description says this is a fictional region located in Europe. Well, the fictional Europe must use American style trains. Because I'd really expect to have seen the European style train on this particular map, but you know, okay, whatever, it all works. So here we have one of the train transfer stations. We can rent the train here. We can train fill and empty. The same goes here. We can dump from a trailer and fill from a trailer. We can use this as just general silo storage. As we are coming across the northern part of the map, you see that we have quite hilly terrain going on here. Quite the varied terrain. Here we have a biomass heating plant. And something I really think about that's cool is we're going to see periodically this landscaping treatment where we have flowers that are kind of spelling out the company name. So here we have a G-Force Workshops. This is a maintenance area. And as such, we have wonderful background sounds. We have the biomass heating plant, so we can sell wood chips here. We can sell logs. Here we're going to be able to fill or buy seed, fertilizer, and lime. The seed, fertilizer, and lime buy point. And here we have a sell point. Now we will notice that there are utility poles throughout the map that are close to roads are also close and in fields. I can tell you that the utility poles in fields do not have collisions. These here along the road do have collisions, so that is something to be aware of. That your utility poles are going to alternate between having collisions and not having collisions. So we have our carpentry facility. This map includes 21 production points. 21 viable production points. We have the biogas plant, a sawmill, we have a spinnery, a flour factory, bakery, cheese dairy, a carpentry facility, the dairy, a cereal mill, oil factory, a sugar mill, 10 large greenhouses. In fact, here we have our viable flour factory, which we can buy for 100 thousand dollars in town we have quite the busy town we have a sell point in our grocery we have a sell point here this is the bakery I believe Here we have a vehicle shop. So we're gonna come back to the vehicle shop in a little bit, but here we have our vehicle shop. If 
with a cotton cell point. Wonderful sounds, wonderful sounds. Our dairy. Our cheese shop. restaurant cell point then here we have the 10 large greenhouses and then in conjunction with that we have then silo storage for liquids fertilizer and then this will hold seed or mineral feed There are also facilities like this. This is a buyable plot of land. So you could buy this plot of land. We have then an operable gate. And we have a shed that we can make use of. So this particular piece of land can be bought for $43,000. We also have another one located over here. That is $98,000. Got the large lake. Coming down here to the river, one of our viable forest areas. Not super dense forest, but then still. Forestry areas, nonetheless, we have a rent train trigger. Here we have our sawmill, so we have our pallet spawn point, wood chip point, and all of those fun areas. We're going to go into much closer detail on those during the drive around segment. Over here we can buy liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Here we have seed, lime, and fertilizer. of kind of decorations in here we've got you know parked built parked machinery you know things within the buildings and we're going to see that we're going to see that throughout the rest of this map where we've got like trucks being loaded we have pallets with inside of buildings so here we go here we have the buy point for seed lime and fertilizer then we have our cell point for Z8 agriculture, which is right here. As we make our way west across the center of the map, here we have our fuel station. Then we have a pair of cell points. We have a diner and a grocery store style area there. We also have a maintenance trigger located right here at Grayson's Garage. Let's 
Make our way south of the river. And here we have our animal dealer. So we have our animal buy point right here. And look, we've got animated chickens. We have animated pigs. We have sheep. And we have cows. Who does not like themselves an animated animal area? We can buy manure or slurry from here. Complete with flies. That's going to be a rather popular place, I think, with pumps and hoses. Now, this is, as best I can tell, a decorative area. I tried to buy this, and this was not buyable. We have kind of a big solar array here. So we have our farmer's market sell point. And like I said, there's lots of details on this map. For example, again, we have a farmer's market truck position here with logo. We have then it being loaded up with products. By the same farmer's market logo over here with more products right beside the dump station. We have our oil mill and our cereal factory also at this facility. Now the main starting farm is just off in the distance over there. And just south of that, we have the stone quarry. And the details continue with the stone quarry. So we have trucks, we've got tractors kind of parked here alongside the incline. We have our stone crusher, our cell point here, and then we have piled up all around stone that we, if we own this facility, we'll be able to dig this stone up, take it right over here to our stone crusher, and get ourselves some money. Here we have a rent train area. And then remember I talked about having a huge pile of lime. Well, here we have that huge pile of lime. And we can buy lime from here. But if we buy this entire facility, well, we have more lime than we likely will ever be able to use. Just pile it up right here. We can make use of it, we can load it up, and we can go sell it, even. So here we have a train, you see our train cell point where it's going off the edge of the map. We have another train transfer station here. As I said, you're going to find a trend around the map with our landscaping, GLW, for GLW. So here we have our train load and unload point. We have our trailer load and our unload point. So this can act as a silo or just a transfer area to transfer product to and from a train. We have a cell point located right here. Let's make our way across the map to the biogas plant. First, we have Lizard. I believe this is Lizard Logistics. And at Lizard Logistics, well, this is a cell point for our palatable products. And at this particular cell point, we have inside kind of decorative areas with various products. We got people walking around, we have background noises. Just really a wonderful, wonderful way that this map has been decorated and animated up with pedestrians and such to really give you a sense of life to the map. So here we have a rent train trigger. That's what the 
phone station is. Another free water windmill. Our biogas plant is located just north of Field 62. So it is right here. And this is basically the Holt Bether, or not the Holt Bether, in the Elm Creek biogas plant, so we can buy that from right here. Biogas. And when I first saw this, I was like, why is this thing crooked? That's just weird. Then I realized that the stone retaining wall here is crooked. So it's not perfectly square, which is, you know, gives us a little bit of character. And uh, basically the silage bunker has been placed in kind of up against the rock as best it can be. It looks odd, but I think it's a interesting design element. And then from here, we have another area to transfer product to and from a train right here. And then we have a fill point to buy seed, lime, and fertilizer also. So I'm going to go ahead now and make our way, my way back up to the vehicle shop. And that's where we're going to come back and rejoin with each other. We're going to get our Mahindra and then do our drive around. Now, before we take a look at the vehicle shop, get our Mahindra and do a drive around, I did want to go back and take a look at our build mode because, well, there's a few interesting things in the build mode. The map has all the standard buildings, so there are no custom sheds. There's no custom silos, silo extensions. But we do have a custom container. So we have a modified liquids tank that's going to hold 100,000 liters worth of product. There's no custom tools or farmhouses. Under production, we have all the standard factories, selling points. But when we get to greenhouses, we do have some modified greenhouses. So the base game greenhouses are obviously going to take water and they're going to produce either tomatoes, strawberries, or lettuce. But we have modified greenhouses that are built into the map here for small, medium, and large greenhouses that are going to take seed, fertilizer, and water, and then produce tomatoes, strawberries, or lettuce. Under animals, we have standard cows, horses, pigs. But when we get to sheep, there is a custom sheep pasture. Now, it holds 15 sheep, has grass, hay, or water as inputs, Pretty much the exact same as the base game sheep pasture. Now, when I saw this, I was like, that's interesting. So I went and bought all of the Bible farmlands. And when I bought all the Bible farmlands, I was looking around the map for a sheep pasture to show up, but none shows up. So I really don't know why we have a modded sheep pasture when there isn't a sheep pasture actually in the map pre-placed base game chickens we do have a beehive and a bee pal or a honey pallet spawn point let's go take a look at the map i kind of skipped over this when we were at the main farm but right here we have a beehive and a honey pallet spawn point so let's just jump over here to the beehive honey pallet spawn point so we've got our beehive here we have our honey spawn point right next to it on top of this hill. But if you look, there's no apparent way to come up this hill with any sort of machinery. And we know we can't pick up this pallet. So it's kind of interesting. Why on earth do we have this pallet on top of this hill? with no real apparent way of getting up here with something like, you know, a little skid steer, a little front loader, or even a, a small tractor with front loader buckets. Let's shoot back over here to the 
shop. We're going to back away a little bit because there's some music. And I think this is the menu music of the game. I'm a little worried about copyright on that. As far as deco, we have all the standard base game decorative items. And then when we look at landscaping, we've got pretty standard FS22 ground textures, trees, and just a minimal amount of paintable plants. So with that, here we have our vehicle shop. We're going to be able to come up here to Z8 Motors. And I do like that we've got a little bit of an ATM here. So it goes straight to our finances screen. Inside, we've got a very nice motorist place. And then we come up here to our sales counter. And yes, the nice lady is staring right at us when we come up here to the sales counter. We'll go ahead and get our Mahindra. And we've got custom spawn point here. Let's go ahead and lease that up and see where it spawns in at. Does it spawn in at right here? No, it does not. Now, then we also have our maintenance trigger right over here in this bay. So we've got our trigger markers. We have our activation trigger right there. And there we have our vehicle spawn point around back. We do have a forklift that we can use here at the shop. So that is usable. And then this is a train rent area. So we can come to the train. <laughs> we can come to the phone booth and basically rent the train and then have it pull up here and then be able to jump in it and make use of it. And I like how we've got a ramp here so we could load things onto the train as well. Drive them around closer to the farm and then make use of that as a transport vehicle. All right, let's get on with the ground tour. Right across the street from the vehicle shop, we have the grocery marked. Lots of people milling around. Lots of stuff, decoration here. We've got grocery carts, all a strewn. We got a little ice cream cart. Cars in a parking lot, traffic coming out of the parking lot. Just Oh, look at that. Excellent, excellent details. And then right here we have our sell point for our grocery. Little things like this really make a map feel alive. It's really nice seeing details like this. Now we're going to jump down a block and over a little bit because we have a restaurant. We got our fire department with some rescue vehicles. Oops. So, sorry, this is not a restaurant. This is our bakery production point. So, we have our Outspawn spawn point or dump point or interactive trigger. And as I said during the fly around, we have 21 factories on this particular map. So we are going to give the map a full point with respect to having production built in or areas set aside for such. We have our cell point for the restaurant, a very tight area to get into. Again, keeping to the kind of details of the map, we've got a delivery truck here. We look inside, we've got some product in here already. We've got some grape juice and some chocolates. Very nice details. In addition, we're going to give the map a full point with respect to having the ability to sell all of the base game crops, animal outputs, and productions. Let's 
go ahead and make our way back up here, do some more driving around the town. We're going to give the map a full point with respect to, there we go, hotel. Look at that. With respect to, can the farms be customized? Yes, the farms can indeed be customized. Oh, that's the wrong way. No, I didn't. There we go. Around the back, we have a dump point or sell point. Look at it right there. And then right here we have the dairy. So we have our interactive icon at the side door. Around the side we have our dump point for our milk. And then our pallet spawn point around the back. And again, wonderful details. We have a branded delivery truck with some boxes around the back of it. dairy so we had our bakery we had our cheese shop dairy and now we have our traditional dairy interactive icon at the front door dump point around back out spawn point around back as well across the street from that we have then a what is all oh, this is our carpentry is it not our spinnery sorry so we have our spinnery we have our interactive icon we have our dump point i think i said this was a cotton cell point in the flyover Now I'm wondering if this is also where our pallets are gonna spawn. Overall, the map has very well indicators showing us where things are gonna be spawning at, where our dump points are. So I'm wondering if this is a combination dump point and spawn point for our fabric. As I was saying, we can sell everything at the main farm. All the decorative elements. We can sell all the buildings. So we are going to get the map a full point there also. And then here we are at our greenhouse area. Let's go ahead and buy one of these greenhouses because this greenhouse does have some custom requirements for it. Now that we own a greenhouse, let's go ahead and check it out. So we need water, seed, and solid fertilizer, as I said earlier. For tomatoes, we need 64 units of water, 6 units of seed, 3 units of fertilizer. We're going to get 88 units of tomatoes, 64 units, 6 and 3. 48 units of lettuce, 64, 6, and 3, and 175 units of strawberries. And there are 10 large greenhouses at this facility. Then we have storage for seed, fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer or water. There we have those greenhouses. We've got a shed, some more sheds over here. It's a little interesting little dip -a -doo. As I mentioned during the flyover, we have this area here. This is buyable land. So we could buy this and you could use this 
as staging area if you own the greenhouse area up there or if you're maybe doing a start from scratch type series you could buy this little plot of land and we've got some smaller fields up here that you could start out with and then kind of expand to the larger fields further south along the map. Let's make our way south kind of along the lake's edge here, a little bit of a rough road. Now, as you'll see during the drive around, we are going to give the map a full point with respect to buildings using the new texturing technique. Uh, these are all pretty much buildings that have come from one of the three base maps, either Erlengrant, Holt Belarune, or Elm Creek. We've got a train rent icon right there, again, at the train call station. Here we have our sawmill, so we have our plank spawn point at the roll door. We have our interactive trigger here, the side door, our dump point for our wood chips, our spawn point for our wood chips, and around the back we have then our wood cell trigger, our wood cell marker there, and then again we have a train call box, so we can call the train, park it here on the tracks, and then sell our logs directly off the train. Now let's make our way along between the two forests. The next industrial yard. Industrial yard. Sorry. We will double back right here. Big field 54. Nice long field. 53, a field kind of coming around the side of the uh, lake. Here we are, Z8 Agriculture. Oh. We got to go in the right way and come out the right way. And what we've established here is Z8 Agriculture is both a buy point and a sell point. So we have a buy points here for liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Inside the first bay, we have a buy point for seed, lime, and fertilizer. And in our second bay, which is a pull-through bay, we have a cell point. Right here. You never know where you're gonna have traffic around this map. We have traffic in parking lots. We have traffic, traffic through here. Watch out for those trees. George, George, George. No, I can't do that. That might be, that might be copyrighted. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way over here to our start point, our career start point. That's where we have the gas station. We also have Mama Joe's Diner from Elm Creek over here. Now, I think you've already know from the thumbnail that this map has scored extremely well. There's lots of reasons why this map has scored extremely well. First off, it's hit on every point that we've talked about so far in every way. And second off, it has that that intangible quality to it. It's got life to it. We have traffic everywhere. We have 
pedestrians everywhere. We have decorations everywhere. We feel that this map is lived in. There's a life that's going on here that's above and beyond simply our existence in the space. So we have two cell points here. We have a fast food restaurant and the gas station shop. We have a repair point for our gas station. Oh, we've got this, this lady just standing here. She's not really sure what's going on. She doesn't, she's got a busted tire. Look at that, she's got a busted tire. Hopefully she's getting her tire fixed. So there we have our trigger for that. Then we have our fuel point. Whoa, watch out for the deer. Jeez, we got long life everywhere here. I think we will now make our way down south, and then we'll double back up the western side of the map. Over here we have our animal dealer with our animated animals. We have broken down trucks everywhere. It's just the aesthetic, the attention to detail, the thought process here. So we're rolling in here. We have a bale cell point. And here we have the a buy point for total mixed rations, pig food, and mineral feed. We have animated animals, as we've mentioned. We have then 5.4 slurry, 5.4 manure. Then our animal trigger, located right there. Over here to the right, we just have a, just a deco solar farm. We can't buy that area. It's unviable. Uh, there's no cell points there or anything. Here we have a farmer's market. Lots of activity going on. We have a dump station. Cell point for our farmer's market. And we have another Cell point here at the farmer's market, most likely for palleted products. We have our oil mill, so we have our dump station. We have our pallet spawn point for the oil mill. The interactive trigger for the oil mill is here around the side. Then around the back of our cereal factory, we have our dump station pallet spawn point and interactive trigger there as well. to the western, sorry, the eastern edge of the map. Kind of double back. Here we have Lizard Logistics. And Lizard Logistics is going to be a cell point for our 
finished goods. We're ready to back into this dock. Again, wonderfully decorated inside. Lots of really great background ambient sounds also. Now this should take us to the biogas plant and points beyond. Nice rough road. So our biogas plant, we have our fill point for digestate. We have our dump point for our slurry. We have our kind of off angled silage bunker. We have two digesters because this is the Elm Creek BGA and we have our interactive trigger. Biogas, I just love that treatment. The little things. Before we run all the way down here, I think this might just be a, yeah, this is the off map train cell point. Over here we had the buy point for seed lime and fertilizer. I don't know if we need to really run over there for that. Then we also have then a train silo where you can dump train products in and out. Let's just run back over here. This is another wrench train trigger. That was the lizard logistics. We've got far from a flat map. We've got lots of rolling hills, lots of undulations in our terrain. Rather interesting geography on the map. Oh, we want one. That's that's a tunnel to nowhere. That's a tunnel to nowhere. That's one of the roads that leads off the map. I think they did a really good job basically using an, a tunnel for that. Right there. Really interesting transitions to and from the fields. I've been noticing that on the roads. I have a little bit dirty there. We've got kind of, you know, we're coming off of dirt on the pavement. Here we have GLW. This is going to be a train transfer silo, as well as where we can basically rent the train in order to sell places. So we have our dump point. We have our fill point. So wheat, wood chips, seeds, sugar cane, sugar beet, potatoes, corn, soybeans, sunflowers, olives, sorghum, canola, oats, barley, and back to wheat. Is what we can store in that silo. Uh, by the way, if you were looking for another hint on a game cartridge, well, there you go. You got um, Agra Pinball DX. Let's make our way across the road. And then we're going to have a cell point over here. So here we have a cell point. This massive, massive area just for one cell point. No, not quite. Remember, this is where we have a huge stash 
of lime deposits. A massive stash of lime. If we own this, we can basically come here and scoop up this lime, make use of it on our fields, or we can sell it because there's multiple places on the map that let you also sell lime. Coming up to our rock quarry, we have another rent train area, another platform to load things onto a train. Over here to our right is the rock quarry. We're about to go down into that. Take it easy, take it easy. dive down into the unknown got a tractor pulling a truck loaded with stone didn't have enough HPs to get up out of there an old classic tractor with an empty trailer just parked over here and heaps upon heaps upon heaps of stone down here at the quarry that if you own this quarry which you can buy you can scoop up the stone put in a stone crusher and get yourself some money or maybe you have a production facility you'd be interested in putting down somewhere that takes stone maybe make something valuable out of it you never know what you might want to do this map has all types of different possibilities. Now we're going to climb our way up out of the map, or out of the stone quarry, and make our way up to the northwest, past the starting farm. To do that, we're going to have to go over this rickety bridge. rickety bridge that's giving me flashbacks of Spectacle Island. So here we have the start farm. And we are going to make our way up and around. That's cool. We kind of came already around here during the fly around. I was talking about these this fence line that you can you can sell. We have another rent train trigger there. Got a nice covered bridge. Directly overlooking, oh, looky there, looky there. Directly overlooking the train. This is gonna take us just down here to field 25. So I didn't intend to show you three of the 20 cartridge locations, but you got a little hints. So here we have yet another 
train and transfer station slash silo. So we have our dump point, we have our fill point for our trailers. Then on the other side, we of course have our dump and fill triggers for the train itself. Just a few more areas to talk about here. Here we have the biogas heating plant to the biogas heating plant. BHP. We're gonna accept wood chips here, logs. Then we have our log cell trigger. Down here we have our flour mill, I believe. Or is this another train point? This might be another train point, actually. Need fertilizer and lime, grain elevator. So here we can buy, yeah, here we can buy seed, fertilizer, and lime. Here we have a salt point. From the back we have forge workshop. So we've got another maintenance trigger located right here. Very well done. Very well done area. Then two more points of interest. So while we're going to those final two points of interest, are the player and interactive trigger areas clearly marked? I do believe they are. We have seen at each location that we've taken a look at, we have seen trigger markers for pallet spawn points, for dump stations and such. So overall, we are going to give this map a score of five out of five. I think this map deserves by a five out of five for the design elements, the visual elements, the gameplay elements. It just hits on all notches. Let me know guys what you all think down in the comments below. Do you agree? Is this map hitting on all notches? We've got our carpentry, so we have our pallet spawn point, our interactive trigger, our log and plank dump point around back. We have our wood cell trigger there. Then we have our carpentry truck. Look, we got furniture loaded in there, pallets loaded in there. And then Right across the street, we have our flour mill. So we have our interactive trigger at the door. We have our dump station. And I would suspect then. Around this side of the building. We're gonna have our flower pallet spawn point flower factory with look a nearly full load of flour. So guys, like I said, let me know down in the comments below what do you all think of Black River? Is this a map that you are going to be putting into your soon to be played playlist? And do you agree? Does this map hit on all marks? Is it a five out of five? And until next time, happy farming.